Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So this morning, uh, we're gonna, again, we are going to talk about WDT, WDT again. Uh, if you're new to the making coffee at home, uh, WDT is it's called wide distribution technique. So this person come up with this technique that use a needle, uh, some kind of sharp object. Over the years, it's been evolved, okay? The WDT ha tools has been evolved. There used to be, I know some of you use like chapstick, uh, toothpicks. I used to use a uh, paper clip for a long time. And now I moved on to acupuncture needle. That's, uh, acupuncture needle works the best. And they're fantastic with a wine cork. And then sometimes later, we have a lot of people like uh, Jay uh, come up with a 3D print as well. And then after that is history, we have a needle distribution tools what else you got it's uh also another color like pokey press uh duomo they got a lot out there okay you could spend a couple bucks or you could spend a couple hundred dollars on uh wdt tools so so this video is for someone have a bravo brista pro okay not the express the pro at home all right, so I'm going to do the live demo without the WDT tools, all right? Without any kind of WDT, I'm just gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grind some coffee beans using the built-in grinder. And I'm, only tools I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use the, just the regular distribution tool and just temp it, all right? And see. Is there channeling going on? And I think one thing I'm going to use is a, a puck screen. That's it. So this is a one millimeter puck screen from Normcore. Uh, only reason I'm use this, I like to have a dry puck. All right, I like to have a dry puck and clean puck uh, shower screen. That's the only reason. It's gonna make taste better. No, it's gonna be make uh, make even extraction. Most likely not. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this, <clears throat> Bravo Brista Pro has uh, unlike Express. Express is like 14 bar pressure coming from the group head. Okay. 14 bar pressure is pretty strong. And uh, the Pro model, they actually adjust down to like 7 and 8 bar. So which means a lot softer uh, flow there, the softer pressure. And that alone helps with channeling. And plus, this is a 54 millimeter. Okay, So this is about 18 gram baskets they are narrow but it's uh, kind of like taller okay or deeper so this design alone uh, prevent the channeling as well so we are combination between uh, soft you know gentle pressure with deeper filter baskets that's pretty good combination for you know not have much channeling so you know what this is great thing about live live show you know, live streaming, you get to see it, okay? There's no edits involved. Uh, I have old stale, okay? I'm not using the fresh coffee roast, uh, fresh coffee beans either. I'm just using the stale old coffee beans, okay, or stale. Uh, let's do 18 gram here. Let's pull the shot. Let's uh, debunk this, okay? Let's debunk the, you need to have WDT to get an even extraction, you know, reduce the channeling. I'm talking about the Bravo Vista Pro, okay? The Pro owners, not the Express. Now someone has like E61 or 58 millimeter. Okay. Uh, speaking of 58 millimeter photo filter, they're wider, but it's not as taller, okay? Which means they have a lot of space, go through the water there. So that one, <clears throat> you need to uh, do some proper WDDT, but comes to, if you have a Bravo Brista Pro, okay, Express uh, Bravo Brista Pro, you know what? WDT is good, good practice. Don't get me wrong. Uh, could be your part of your workflow, but if you want to save some time, so so let's try. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm just gonna flip the camera back here. It's about almost 7 a.m. on Tucson. Right now the lighting is terrible here. I got the this strong light from the window cell. 
Yeah, hold on. By the way, the motion has been even not even on right now, so <coughs> I'm just gonna heat it up. Not even heat it up. I'm just gonna do start the machine right now. And then I'm gonna do a dummy shots before. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple of dummy shots before I'm gonna pull the my morning espresso. But meantime, let's prepare the puck here, guys. Okay, again, so this is the stale coffee. It's not even fresh. Uh, fresh coffee definitely reduces the channeling as well. But this is old. So pretty much we have the worst condition. Okay, I'm just gonna do 18, slightly over 18 because uh, Pro the retains a little bit of coffee. So okay, so now let's go back to the machine. I'm just gonna do a dummy shot here. Heat up my portafilter because a Pro does not have thermal block. So this thermal jet, so only way to heat up is this way, that's it. Just, I'm just gonna do, yeah, that's fine, it's good enough. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it in. We got 18 gram going in here, 18.1, yeah. And uh, to the end, I like to just uh, tap it. Here, let me show you what I'm doing here. To the end, maybe like second later, I'm just gonna tap it, get the, all the coffee grinds out. Uh, I think I do have a single dose mod, but I prefer the, the hopper top there. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna, again, I'm not doing the WDT here. <clears throat> so let me, lip. as you can see, you see some, uh, Kind of like big chunks, a lot of clumps. Okay, I'm just gonna gentle tap. Do some quick distribution here. I'm just gonna use my just temper. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm doing. <clears throat> and the only thing I'm adding is the, just the puck screen, just like so. Let's lock it in. All right. So let's find out. Okay, we're gonna have channeling or not. I'm not gonna measure it. I'd, I'd like to do a time, but I just want to focus on. Is there channeling underneath? Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I can show you the close up. That looks pretty good. Here we go. Uh, looks good to me. Okay. Looks pretty good so far. I don't see any evidence of channeling there. Yeah, look, so far so good, okay. I mean, okay. Here, here's the thing. I've been using Bravo Brista Pro for a couple years. The only reason I like to do the WDT is kind of like I'm happy of it. It's, it's fun, okay? That's part of my routine, all right? And then 99% of the time, I always use the fresh roast coffee anyway. I, I don't do like store-bought coffee. I mean, uh, store-bought means like Starbucks, like pizza coffee, I don't use that anymore. Buy from local roasters. I usually get it from uh, Brent at Good Brothers Coffee. By the way, I do have a, you know, his coupon code as well. I got, I think I still have a 25% off coupon code. So I'm gonna put the link down below, I'm done with it. And again, as you can see, 
the shots looks good okay again the combination between the the deep portafilter filter basket design and also the the group head pressure more like 78 bar pressure there that's a good combo for you know give you that nice flow okay give you still have a decent crema this coffee sitting on this container for what a couple weeks now so I mean this is kind of like you know worst case okay and if you use the uh, fresh roast coffee you're gonna have a lot more crema and look so much better but for this case still all right the still okay uh, the puck screen I mean I talk about puck screen a lot on this channel again the reason why because this okay I just tap a few times I always get the dry puck because it's nothing like having a messy wet puck definitely the dry uh, puck screen help you prevent that so this one is a one millimeter uh, I think Normcore, Normcore has the package one and 1.7 millimeter I prefer like to use a one but if you are using like 20 gram baskets but if you like to use only about 18 gram or 19 gram I like to use a 1.7 millimeter so uh, you, you do have a lot of options as well and again uh, if you have a Bravo Vista Express <clears throat> or a 58 millimeter port filter uh, you might want to use a WDT for sure but so this video is for if you have a pro at home okay Bravo Vista Pro I mean you could still doing the uh, you could still do the WDT but if you want to save some time skip it as you saw on the live box pretty good without the WDT uh, if you have uh, any, uh, questions or comment let me know okay hold on I'm gonna just take a look at your man I got sun lights coming through that window as well you see that the lights okay hold on I'm just gonna take a look at your question here on my laptop okay we got gendry all right cooker for coffee let's see who else you got orange shout out to orange it's been a while buddy okay noodle dog gamer ask is safe to use a bottle of water on Brista pro okay uh bravo Brista pro does not have boiler okay which means they only use the thermal block think of it as an instant hot water heater and I this scale I use the my refrigerator water there I use that and I just follow the descaling schedule I have no problem with it last couple years okay let's see here okay puck paper talking about puck paper uh, make a video about flushing problem lots of people flushing from the back flush okay so if you have an older model uh brista express the back flush that the rubber piece has a little holes in it okay on the middle i think that's designed so i mean if you have that model use that basket the you use that you know the rubber gaskets uh i mean that's okay i mean that's depend on the which model you have so as long as a uh, back flush works that's fine okay cook of coffee say wdt makes feel like i know what i'm doing that is correct cook of coffee okay gender say no puck filter okay so puck filter you know what i i, I should make a video on puck filter okay i'm going to share with you the benefits having using puck filter versus not having one yeah you, know, you guys might find uh, interest okay hold on i think we are pretty good there we have i think we got some few people on this morning i will live streaming again bravo vista pro is one of my favorite uh coffee machine okay so this one is great for my family they're fantastic can't complain but still expensive don't get me wrong don't get me wrong okay they're like 800 bucks for coffee machine so if you are if you have like keurig at home if you're gonna upgrade to coffee machine like this definitely take a look at the pro 
And if you want to save a few hundred bucks, Express is also a good option as well. But I mean, I, I like the, the pressure coming out from the Guru Pad. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Uh, let me know, okay? If you have a Bravo Vista Pro at home, you have you done without the WDT or with? Love to hear your thoughts on it. And I'm going to see you guys later.